Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. As in the <coughs> in the request, Wet Zone is the winner with an ultimate overwhelming vi victory of three. The runners up are all at one at the moment and the last are zero. So hopefully after doing this one a few people will vote a few others. Yeah, scratch my back. So this is the review of Wet Zone, which is well. Let's read the thingies that give you the basis of the story. So the story is, if you can, I can't turn the electron down. Those of you who own one will understand. Elaine is the most despicable excuse for a life form in the universe. They are nearing their goal of invading the mother planet Earth. Typical. You are the pilot of the last remaining space interceptor. It's all falling into a pretty well-known sequence here. With luck and skill, you must destroy wave after wave of attacking hordes. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to be aliens, not zombies. You are armed with your very powerful dual plasma bolts. Pretty standard weapon. The Elanes have probed your mind which enables their ships to appear as illusions. Their images may be based on aquatic forms of your childhood in... What the fuck? I can't read that so I'll just point at the camera. Greensbury or something. I thought this was supposed to be a British game. It'll probably turn out someone will come back with comp and it's a smart ass. Greensbury is a town in the UK. Let's see. Okay, that's back in the elastic banded sequence, and we'll actually start the game. Bloody hell, two minutes already? What the fuck? <laughs> I ramble too much. So we hit space, we hit it again, and we're presented with. Actually. Although it does take a while to get used to the controls, and I am exceedingly rubbish. For the little old Electron, this is actually quite good. I mean, you've got nice sound. It's a shame they don't have music in-game, but to be honest, after a while, all the tunes that can be played by the Electron get annoying. It's actually quite a nice-looking game. Everything looks as it should do. The spaceships don't just look like unrecognisable blobs, they look like spaceships, although there isn't much smoothness in the way they move. But I wouldn't consider it laggy. There's more smoothness in your ship. It's interesting, sounds are appropriate, but from what I see, I don't think it goes much beyond this. And if I wasn't so shockingly bad, it would actually be quite good. <laughs> I am shockingly bad at this game, but uh, let's be honest, games of this era weren't exactly completable. <laughs> I can get past the first wave. Not much further, but I can get past them. So we'll try and get past the first wave. Demonstrate it. It's an interesting game, although it's lot isn't anything to run home about. It does certainly have a tendency. I mean you've got nice animation, bearing in mind the Electron has no sprite hardware to it. It's quite nice. Not as nice graphics as Plan B. But it uses... I'm not sure what colour mode, but I think it uses the high colour mode, which is what most of the games did. Despite that, the resolution is actually quite high for such an old machine. Can we wipe out this first wave? Maybe. Oh, almost there. Almost, almost, almost. We're almost taking it out. Oh, I say weave, me. <laughs> there it is. Oh, God. Ah. The trouble is, the faster it gets, the more sort of laggy the ship gets. It's like trying to play through Half-Life 2 on my old laptop. And we're on to second wave. I'm not sure how many waves it is or whether the game actually has any variation to it. But it seems to have level 1s if you look in the top 
left corner there are levels so it could be like text so I don't think there is much to be variation on the game and every time the ships get regenerated they change colour I'm not sure why an alien race of war would create pink ships though you'd think they'd want to disguise them as some sort of well, discreet, I'll have one more go, get this thing to respond. And it's beautiful. I'm not sure what took me out there. <laughs> not sure at all. The only real downsides I'd say about this game, despite it looking quite nice, is the difficulty is far too high for it to keep you occupied for more than five minutes and it does seem to be more of the same it doesn't seem to contain any variability but saying that I can't get past the second wave so uh, I won't hold myself up on that I'm free to any correction because I don't know anything about this game myself. I haven't even bothered looking at the cassette case to see who made it, but yeah. So yeah, that's Wet Zone. Interesting little like space shooting them up. The sound is typical of that of Electron, and I just accidentally started it. The sound is typical Electron, although the Electron does have far nicer sounds than the Spectrum, which is just bleep. Well, Spectrum sound is that of a Tamagotchi, to be honest. Spectrum... Electron can at least do music, being that it's not in-game, but that's not the point. So yeah, that's Wet Zone. I'll come up next and try and work out what to do for the next one, being as all the rest are on one. So, anyone out there watching, put a recommendation up for, a, for another game now so we can get some more votes and make it easier to go through the pile rather than just randomly choosing them. Anyway, for such a simple game, this video is going on far too long. Yeah. Interesting little game. Definitely you require quite a lot of practice to become any good at it. But other than that, I do reckon it has the potential of being quite fun. There are some others which are more fun. The clone of Donkey Kong is actually pretty good. Thanks for watching.